What's going on everyone? Juicebags here and welcome back to Dungeon Defenders. The community development team update number six is in beta testing right now. Anyone that plays on Steam it can hop in and check out the beta. Now, besides being able to come in and just check out the new maps and give any feedback back to the CD2, there is also an event associated with this particular beta test. So if you follow the link in the description below over to the Dungeon Defenders forums and complete the tasks of the two new maps that are coming in this update and provide the adequate screenshots at the end of the event, there will be an event award that goes out to all of the players that follow through. Now, I don't know what this award is yet, but if it follows suit with all of the other event items, it will be probably a pretty darn hot item. So I'm excited to see what we get. Now, as I mentioned, there's two new maps in this particular update. There's the Coastal Bazaar and then there's Crystalline Resurgence number four. Uh, today, we're going to pop into the Coastal Bazaar and give it a whirl here. Let's uh, see what we can do. Now, I did this one once, of course, already, just to be able to complete the uh, the necessary requirements for the beta test event. And it's a fun map. I'm actually anxious to pop in and try this one out on survival mode once. I'll probably wait until it goes live. Missed some. Missed some of the good. So we got three cores here, quite a few different entrances. Like I said, all together a really fun map, so I've enjoyed playing it quite a bit. This is uh, this is my second time through it, but uh, certainly a fun one for sure. Let's go ahead and slap down some Rs here. I think I may have missed a chest somewhere. Nope, nope, just this one right back here. Got 150 seconds left. Should be plenty of time to get this squared away. Let's see, how do we want to do it? I think we're just going to go... Something like that, maybe? And then just do the same thing right here. I want to see how this is going to work. This is my f uh, first uh, Nightmare Hardcore attempt, so hopefully this doesn't go too terrible. <laughs> We'll find out here in a moment. Should have plenty of time left still. I'm gonna put some I think I'm gonna put some lightning towers back in here. I actually feel like that reflect might be more useful. Having two of them from the sides, or just not even having it at all. Let's see. Let's get uh, let's get a few gas traps in. I think we're definitely gonna want something right here. Actually, you know what? Can we go with two of them to kind of cover both entrances? Yeah, I think that'd probably be the way to go. So let's just gas trap it up here. Ooh, out of juice. Any more chests? There's one more chest that I didn't get yet. Hopefully this will give me enough to at least get these uh, these gas traps down. Let's see. Something like that. 30 seconds left. Starting to push it a little here. Yeah, plenty of time. Plenty of time. All right, so seven or twenty-seven seconds left. Seventy mana. I think let's just hop on over to our jester and uh, get to get to collecting up a little bit of mana here. Definitely a fun map. I'm anxious to try this one out. I mentioned it a couple times already, but I am really anxious to try this one on survival. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's 
see if this bad build is going to hold up here. Just a little bit sketchy. Twenty mobs left, that should be enough to get this lean upgraded maybe. Hopefully. I couldn't get it all the way upgraded, but that's alright. Let's see, we got what, 27, 37, that's 42 defense units left. Let's, uh, let's grab the apprentice here and get some of these lightning towers going. And how many can I put? Let's see, three, four, five, six. Oh, nice. See, I got six of those bad boys down. That will help. And... What next? Well, we gotta get some archers out, right? Let's see how much... I think I've got enough for five archers and a mage on each one of these buff beams. We will see... The Crystalline Resurgence was fun, too. Um, now, that one... It's going to be grindy. I mean, we're going to have to see what the loot uh, becomes, or, or what the loot available from that map is. I believe Survival Mode is going to offer up a genie here for this map. Oh, man. I couldn't get them all down. That's all right. We should still be good. We can get it finished up here at the beginning of the next wave. Spam some upgrades around. Uh -oh. Yeah, they're fine. How we doing? We five mobs left. See if we can't get the rest of these archers down here. We got one more mob. There it is. Not too bad so far. If I can only just get the map built. And let's see, where was I? I think I got that side complete, right? So we're just right here. actually have quite a bit of MU left. I'm not even sure what I'm going to do with it. I mean, I could throw some archers back here just to... Because why not? Might as well throw a mage back in there too, huh? I think that will probably hold up. Let's see. We will find out here in a moment. I should just go hit those lightning towers up. 
and ignore the rest of this stuff for the time being. Let me hit these R's real quick. Get a few upgrades in anyway. And moving right along. Let's burn through these guys. So far, so good. There are, it looks like there's some collision issues with the wyverns, maybe on some of these columns. But besides that, I mean, the map runs really well. Not a uh, excessive amount of bugged mobs. Uh, the last time I did it, I ended up getting some harbingers stuck over behind that column. But for the most part, going good. I'm just going to go ahead and get it started. Plenty of uh, upgrade mana sitting in this chest, but I'm going to be really lazy and just blaze through it. Hopefully. Hopefully it doesn't come back to bite me. We'll find out. there. And here we are in wave number 14. I didn't even get everything upgraded, but I kind of switched off and just kind of played around a little bit and shot some ogres. So I don't think I needed to get everything, you know, as you see where everything sits over here. Not a whole lot of upgrades went around over on this side, but I tried, did try to get these uh, lightning towers jacked up just a touch and I uh, got this squared away pretty nicely So let's check out wave 14 here now I did get uh, some harbingers stuck right over behind that pole And then as I mentioned there was a little bit of collision here and there with uh, some of the flyers so the some of the birds just didn't want to quite make it uh, through certain columns and they would sit there and collide with them but besides that the map is run super smooth it's really fun. Definitely enjoy it. Looking forward to playing it more. It's probably going to be a while. Um, did say that the event was going to go for quite a while. So the, this beta test is going to be active for quite some time. So there's no mad rush where you have to get in and get this done, you know, over, you know, the next weekend or whatever the case is. Uh, do it casually at your own pace whenever you get around to it. However, the community development team has been working hard, so let's return the favor a little bit and go through these maps and give them our feedback. Uh, if you run into any bugs or any issues at all, you know, of course, you'll want to let those guys know. So links to everything, the event rules and just how to access the beta itself are all down in the description below, so just go ahead and check that out and get yourself into, you know, another really cool Dungeon Defenders event. The Dungeon Defenders community has just done an amazing job with putting all these events together continually. I mean, I've only been back, you know, obviously I play a lot of DD2, and uh, I've only been back playing Dungeon Defenders on and off for about a year now. And there's just been a ton of events that have gone on over the last year. So it's been really good to be a part of and got some pretty darn awesome rewards as well. So we were just about to the end. I think we'll probably have a few stuck bads to deal with maybe. Let's see. What else do we have? Yeah, it looks like that same place over behind this post here, this column. And I think that will be all of them. Mm, a couple of stragglers here and there. Mm, 
Ooh, looks like stuck over on this column here. Yeah, that's what I meant about the flyers being stuck. Now, rumor has it that there could be a genie reward for running this map on survival mode. So it'll be nice. It's something that really anyone can farm um, or anyone can use, I guess. You know, nothing ever wrong with having a genie upgrade, that's for certain. And that is a look at the Coastal Bazaar, though. So two new maps coming over to Dungeon Defenders 1 in the Community Development Team update. So don't forget to click that like button, please subscribe to the channel, and I will be back soon with some more Dungeon Defenders and Dungeon Defenders 2. Thanks again, I'll see you next time.